Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. Hate it or love it, the Game of Thrones finale has been a big talking point over the last week and the end of the season left enough plot threads dangling that it opens up the universe to the possibility of so many more adventures. With several spin-offs rumoured to be coming in the next couple of years, I thought I'd break down everything we know so far about the new shows, their settings and what could happen in them. This is full spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen the finale of Game of Thrones and aren't fully up to speed, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video, I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax and let's get into my Game of Thrones spin-off breakdown. Ok so the first show that we have confirmed is a prequel to the season. Though it would have been amazing if they just called it Game of Thrones, the show looks like it's going to be named The Long Night. Fans of Game of Thrones will know that the legendary Long Night saw the battle between the forces of ancient Westeros and the White Walkers over 5,000 years before the events of the main series. This is set during a time period known as the Golden Age of Heroes and it shows the descent of society into the Dark Ages. Whilst the majority of the cast weren't alive at this point, there is one character who will make an appearance and that is the Night King. The series is set to tell his true origin story and will be set during the time period that the children of the forest made a pact with the first men. In the main series, Bran travelled back to this period to witness the birth of the Night King and it's also during this age that the Stark's ancestor, Bran the Builder, created the Great Wall and Winterfell. HBO has also began pulling together the cast of the show, with Naomi Watts set to be its main star, though we all saw what happened to Ned Stark at the end of season 1. She is speculated to be Nissa Nissa, the wife of legendary hero Azor Ahai, which I can never pronounce so sorry if I got that wrong. He was of course a famous warrior that many speculated was reincarnated as Jon Snow. In addition to this, Miranda Richardson, Jamie Campbell Bower, Jon Sim and Georgie Henley have all been cast, though their roles are not confirmed yet. All in all, I'm pretty excited for this and though it's a prequel, the show could shed a lot of light on the unanswered questions at the end of season 8 and hopefully it adds more texture to the highly divisive series. The prequel is due to be released roughly around May 2020, with the pilot for the series already filming. Hopefully we will see this as soon as possible and with a budget set to match season 8 of Game of Thrones, it could definitely rival the original. The next spin-off comes in the form of an Arya based solo show that fans are affectionately calling Arya the Explaria. Those who've seen the final episode will know that she sailed west of Westeros, which I really hope is called Restoros. This is because no one has been there yet and she wants to be the first one to map it. Whilst HBO bosses are staunchly denying that the show will be greenlit, with programming chief Casey Bloys flat out denying it in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter yesterday, you can't help but feel that if fans drum up enough support and interest that they will go with it. I flat out don't believe Casey and ask me again in 10 years if he was right because this is too hot of a property not to do. Arya was one of the only characters that still remained popular after the finale so it would be a great direction to take. Arya really came into her own in the final season and she's still yet to shut those green eyes so hopefully the show is green lit and we can see what the world is like far beyond Westeros. In addition to this, George R. R. Martin let slip that there were originally 5 scripts being looked at, with the 5th being shelved. This means potentially that we could have 4 Game of Thrones spin-off shows down the line. Hell, we may even get the petitioned rewrite of season 8, which I'd love to see even though I know it never will. I actually think season 8 leaves so many plot threads dangling that there could be so much more down the line in that season. Hopefully right, Drogon carries Danny's body north of the wall and, right, are you listening? He drops her body down on something that we've just made up right now so that she can come back to life and then she's resurrected by guess who? none other than the bloody Night King and we can just get season 9 made and forget forget all this ever happened. So yeah, once that petition gets done, just hand me the keys and I'll sort it all out. I won't hold my breath though. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the spin-offs and what you hope to see in them. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the final episode of the series which will be linked at the end. We've also just launched a merch section on the channel, so if you want to support the show and get something back from it, make sure you click the boxes and links below. It all goes towards making these videos better and it's massively appreciated, so thank you. 
This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. You've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.